beautiful people. People. Long time no see. Uh, we have been a little bit absent on our um, English channel. It's just because life has been busy. Christina had a difficult surgery. I'm having a new job since one year ago, which is uh, quite demanding. And I'm traveling a lot, so virtually no real time to take care of this channel. But still I'm having, uh, you know, like my conscience feel, feels bad. So I decided to shoot another vlog, even if, you know, it's, uh, it's months apart since the last vlog. So as you can see, I'm in the caravan and tomorrow we have a, a barbecue party with the Romanian community here in Tenerife. And we're gonna uh, meet in uh, Las Lavas, in the south of Tenerife, not far away from Villa Flor. And I'm going today to uh, sleep there and meet uh, another couple, friends of ours, with their caravan and stay overnight. So this is my first time actually solo caravanning because Cristina will join me tomorrow. She couldn't today. This particular place, Las Lajas, doesn't have any good uh, cell, cell uh, reception. Until tomorrow night, I'm virtually unreachable. So let's see how it goes. See you later. Hello guys, I arrived and um, I'm waiting now for my friends. I'm gonna set up the picnic table and in this spot I'm gonna leave for them. In the middle we will put our picnic tables and everything that we have. I arrived about uh, 30 minutes ago at the location and there's only one spot where I have cellular reception, it's right over there from this whole, whole area, that's the spot. It's getting chilly. It's still bearable, but it's getting chilly. And I'm gonna go to the motor home and put something on. And then I'm gonna do, maybe I'm gonna, we're gonna grill something or we're gonna cook something, I don't know. So I'm waiting for the friends. One piece of information regarding this type of areas here. It's called, they, they are called Areas Recreativas. And some of them have dedicated uh, caravan spots. They are free, but you have to go online. I I'm gonna put the link in the description and reserve your spot. You can do it for a, a maximum of three nights, I think. I think it's around 13, 14 degrees now Celsius. And it's uh, 10 past seven PM. We are at Two, more than 2,000 meter altitude, so um, we are above the clouds. That's why I like this place, that's why we are choosing this place very often. Although it's very far from Santa Cruz, it takes us about one and a half hours to get here. When everywhere is like raining or cloudy, I mean, every time we've been here, it was sunny. There are also toilets, I think those are the toilets, toilets actually. And you can also camp here in a tent. So this is the regular parking spot for vehicles. And over there, you can camp your caravan. The moon is coming out, look guys. Wow, it's beautiful. This is the light of the moon. So guys, I wanted to tell you that it's getting cold. We had to like put our jackets on and the sweatshirt and the t-shirt and uh, I can still feel the cold, but um, we, have fire. <laughs> we have fire and it's manageable. So I think 
based on my winter experience in Austria, it's around 10 degrees, 10, 12 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna grill something because uh, we are prepared. <laughs> Not me, they are prepared. It's a very clear night. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't film the stars. And tomorrow we're gonna wake up, have a breakfast and then do some uh, grilling, barbecue, who knows, maybe even play some soccer. So that's, that's, the, that's the plan. Mmm, the smell is amazing, guys. Wish you were here. Not. <laughs> Rado's caravan is slightly newer than uh, my Breaking Bad caravan. <laughs> and boy, he came prepared. I noticed that no one's here to check on you. Maybe it's something random, or maybe this is this is the way. But no one's here to like knock on your door and say, hey, you cannot grill or you cannot do this. Actually, there are a couple of French guys over there having a bonfire, people outside of the cars having fun, basically. I'm charging. Good morning. Another day. Another problem? No, no problems here. It's uh, 20 past 8. Sun is coming out over there. And I moved from the place that I camped last night with the caravan, further down. Because there are three tables, four barbecue spots, and I can park my caravan right here. During the late hours yesterday, during the evening, uh, a lot of caravans and vans and small cars came here. In some small cars, I saw people sleeping, not even in tents, but just in small cars. One is over there, one is here. So I don't know, either they are tourists who haven't found a spot to book something or they just want to spend overnight here and that's it. Also outside it was very cold. I think it was below 10 uh, during the night. But I told you, we, we are above 2000 meters. So it's, uh, I think it's normal. So now it's a waiting game. Listen. What's that? A woodchucker? Hi guys, it's um, almost midday, we are planning a family day and it's always very hard with us to get together all the five of us. Maybe we will manage today, so the, the goal is here to go to Palmetum, which is a botanical garden here in Santa Cruz. Uh, the weather is not exceptionally good today, it was raining for the past two days I think. Not bad, not heavy, not much, but still raining. Now it's getting a little bit uh, better. We have some sun. So um, we thought, okay, let's hang together today and go, go to the park. Maybe eat something, visit downtown, you know, for family day. Because tomorrow I will fly for a week with my work in uh, Bosnia and Barcelona and that's why we're gonna spend the day together at least a couple of hours that's the that's the goal here all right we managed to get out of the house with a gang 
it's getting warmer which is absolutely fantastic because how the day started was uh, very cloudy and rainy. a bit of, bit of rainy. rainy, cloudy. From our place to to Palmetto, how long does it take? Maybe around 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I would say also 15 minutes walk. Let's have a bit, bit, bit of fun today, hopefully, because we have teenage, teenage uh, daughters company. So yeah. They grew so much, almost the same level. Sophie is two years younger than Tanya, but look at them. This store is everywhere in uh, Spain. You can find it everywhere. And here we have another one called Nivarra. This is the only store in uh, Santa Cruz that's had, that has a media mark in it. And the big building there, you know it. It's uh, Auditorio de Tenerife. Nice outside. Woman, woman! Which one? How have you been enjoying the winter in your land? Like UK or maybe even uh, Germany, Austria, Italy, Romania. We had a mild winter here, really, guys. Uh, last winter, it was pretty, pretty cloudy, starting mid-January till uh, mid-March, I would say, here in the north. Actually, cold. We had also 13 degrees Celsius during the day. In the night, maybe 10. So, because we don't have heating elements in our homes, means that uh, we had to buy thick. Uh, blankets. Oh, the horror! I'm not complaining, of course. It's just, a, just a fact. I'm not sure what Tanya is singing. I think it's like a Spanish Latin tune. Salsa de domingo. No. Sao de salsa y domingo de embo. Ando todos los días con un flow. And what does it mean? Um, uh, Saturday de salsa. Yeah. Well, salsa. And Salsa, salsa, yeah, yeah, the yeah. music. Not and, the sauce. No, and Domingo, uh, Sunday, the yeah. Dembo. What's Dembo? Dembo. The music. It's basically a song no, about. The song gen Dembo is like this. Ah, Dembo. okay, a genre. Yeah, so she's listening to some music uh, talking about Saturday we're gonna listen or dance to salsa and then on Sunday we do something different. Yeah. Auditorio de Tenerife, this one. And we're gonna go up there. This is La Palmetum. Basically up there, there was a garbage place where all the garbage was dumped. I'm not sure what the price for the entry is if you're not a resident here, but we are residents, so we have to pre present our... Uh, Nie. Nie. And probably it's gonna be half the price. This is how you cross the street in Santa Cruz. I jump in the water here. Yeah, I know. There is a beach up right over there, right? There is a public pool area here. It's called... Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful public uh, pool. I mean pools, there are many. And it's right across Palmetto. Christina, 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 what's this? The, the what, what is it called? It's a parque. Uh, I think it was Cesar Marique. Cesar Marique. Cesar Manrique. <laughs> Manrique Iglesias. And as you can see, it's empty because it was pretty chilly in the morning. But there are some uh, people here and there. I'm going to tell you what's the price of an entry Five euros. ticket. Five euros? Are you sure? You don't have a resident fee here, but it's five euros per adult and 150 for the kids. Pretty nice, right? If you want to have an umbrella and a sun bed, it's 250. So I think it's a good deal staying in the sun here. Ah, it's, a, it's five. Okay, so it's five euro and the sun bed and uh, it's included. Cool. 
make sure you jump by if you visit Santa Cruz. It's really good, it's, the water is good. There used to be a waterfall, but now they stop it. I mean, si since we moved here, I never saw the, the waterfall. This is a nice pool. This is a kid's pool, empty now. There is another one, really nice. And behind those, uh, those trees, those palm trees, you can see the ocean and there is a beach there, but you cannot stay there. This is the entrance here. And by the way, guys, here is a huge parking lot where you can park your motorhome. I'm not sure about the legal aspects, but basically I parked my motorhome here for one week because I couldn't find a parking spot uh, near our house. Not only this, but I see motorhomes with their camping tables outside sitting. So I think it's still the Wild West. The advantages of being a resident here and owning a Nia Verde, a green Nia, is that some of the museums or parks or attraction have a 50% discount. Now, the entry ticket for an adult here is 6 euro and for a child below 12 years is uh, 280, right? 280? 280. But we paid 13 euro 50 all of us again because we have uh, the Nia Verde a resident and this park usually takes you I think about one hour one hour and a half if you stay if you read about the plants and everything We all love palm trees and we feel so good that we are here and we get to see them all the time. And we were discussing about tattoos because I would like to have a tattoo with the palm tree. I know it's kitschy, but um, who cares? <laughs> he just told me this, this palm tree is called Zona Video Vigilada. We will also gonna see here some uh, banana trees and all other sorts of uh, fruit trees for example this is a banana tree pretty small i reckon and it has no fruits oh it has fruits look let me show you these are not eatable we tried You can, but they don't taste good. By the way, Tanya is going to a gardening school, plants and so on. So she knows a bit about plants and stuff more than we do. And I, sometimes she brings us home what she grows in the school, like tomatoes, peppers, salad, which tastes absolutely amazing. I don't know how she does it, but it's very, very good. Do you enjoy it? Yes, a lot. I, I always find it very recharging to be here. And relaxing. Relax. Mama, this is my teacher's favorite plant. She always talks about this one, about cheflera. What is this? Cheflera. Uh -huh. Cheflera? I think this one was used for shelter. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So ugly. Just as fine. Imagine cool. having a um, thing there. Wow. How do Why are these plants so ugly? Imagine very, very hot outside. Imagine yeah, you, 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 you sleep here. Uh, like a. Uh, you got a pretty decent roof.
this here is one of our favorite spots in the whole park because of these trees not sure exactly what they are but they look like like pine trees from austria and it's a serene place here a serene spot with beautiful beautiful views this, this one you only find in austria well similar not this one so what this thing you find in Kärnten. in Kärnten, yeah, in carinthia the girls like it the kids like it which is a plus which is great success for us but if you plan to sit on a bench or maybe look at the uh, descriptions read everything it will take you two hours two and a half hours but if you just stroll around have a few pictures maybe one hour one hour and a half tops i love this spot here um let me check what trees are these but they are basically like giant pineapples they are called corifa and they are huge and beautiful australia or asia uh asia o oceania oceania i don't know asia go go stand beside that tree go stand beside it gigantic right i feel like in avatar So this is the park, right? I want to see this way. With the ledge. With the seabirds and whales around the park. This is what you can find around this park in the waters and in the sky. This is new here. It's like a mall stand here and we're gonna sit down and have a drink and maybe have an ice cream and enjoy this beautiful weather. And let me show you around a bit. These are papayas, papaya tree. Uh, I'm not sure you can see, but there are ripe papaya there. Uh, it says Carica papaya. Yes, the papaya. And this is called the octagon. It's like a tropical jungle inside. I think it's uh, some kind Oh! Hi, Sophie! 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 we try to do this once a month we are not always succeeding but in any case time with family is important for us i have like a big target on my back so the kids can make fun of me a bit similar to Siam Park. No? Loro Park. Loro Park, Siam Park. But Siam also has this waterfall. By the way, usually I'm filming with my iPhone. I have an iPhone 14 Pro. 
But I bought this action cam and I'm filming with it right now. The whole vlog basically is filmed with it. Just a few B-roll shots maybe with an iPhone. And the camera is called Insta360 Ace Pro. It's not a 360 camera. It's just called like that. My first vlog with it. So hopefully I get some nice footage. Uh, I don't know yet. I have to copy it on the laptop. And hopefully the audio is also good. Now we're gonna go downtown in Plaza de España, eat something and then go back home. So now I'm waiting for the others. Me and Tanya are already here, waiting for Cristina and for Levi and for Sophie. And we're gonna head downtown a comer algún cositas. Change of plans, we're not gonna go into downtown to, to eat something. The kids want to go to Meridiano, which is this uh, shopping mall very close to us. Let me give you a few facts about Palmetto. It has about 120,000 square meters. And like I said before, this was a garbage dump uh, back in the days. They have here around 600 uh, species of palm trees from all around the world. This was built with uh, European Union money. It, uh, it was a part of a European uh, Union project financed by the European Union. The construction here started in 95. Even, even the kids, they were yeah, so, looking everywhere. Uh, trust us, they're not very easy to impress, but they said, okay, I like palm trees, I like this and that. This is how we spend usually a weekend. Well, it's our sort of weekend. Sometimes we go out with friends, sometimes we go out with the Romanian community that's on the island, uh, it differs. Sometimes me and Christina go hiking. We love hiking here, there are a lot of hiking routes. We're gonna film some of them. We have more vlogs on our Romanian channel, but you guys, obviously, most of you don't understand the thing. Christina doesn't want to eat, so it's just the four of us. Where do you go? Primark. Primark. Okay, we're gonna grab something to eat and then head back home. Thanks for watching, guys. And Thank you. Thank you. hopefully see you in the next one. Uh, make sure you hit this like button, whatever it is. And maybe also subscribe. Besos.